Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I'll show you how I make this cute little bubbling cauldron. I made this with a copper knight cabochon, some copper wire, and some copper beads. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so today I want to make a cauldron, which once again, I've never done before, so I thought it'd be pretty fun. I decided to use this copper knight cabochon, which I got from Maya Crystals. I thought that would be pretty cool for a cauldron. And I think I'm going to use some square copper 18 gauge. How I determine how many lengths I want is the thickness of my stone. So this is pretty thin. I want at least three lengths, so I'm going to go with that. I want them pretty long because I want to make those swirlies. The steam coming out of the top of the cauldron and I think I'll make them about 12 inches. And by the way my list of tools and things are all down in the description if you have any questions. Check that out. And I use dead soft wire if anybody is curious because it's the easiest for me to work with. Alright so I got my three lengths of 18 gauge wire square. I'm gonna bind those. I'm going to bind them with 16 gauge wire, half round, nice and thick. And to be honest, my 18 gauge and my 21 gauge half round are tarnish resistant, so I find it annoying when I want to oxidize things. So if I think I can get away with the 16 gauge, then I'll use that. And I'm going to bind right in the center, which is going to be the bottom of our cauldron. And I'm going to bind just enough so it can make two little legs popping out. So I'm gonna bind like about three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters. So let me go ahead and do that. I usually start my binds at the end of my half round wire, especially with sterling silver, but today I started towards, or not on the end I should say, I started inward a little bit. I'll wrap this side and see where that takes us. I don't like how that goes over the end, so I'm going to cut it. Smush that down. Only at about half an inch, so we gotta keep going. Or I've gotta keep going. And all my measurements, that's all dependent on the stone you pick. Couple more wraps. Make sure to cut it on the same side as your other cut end. All right, here I'm going to try to center it. Try to get the, my wires to shape around my stone. But before I go too far, I want to make my little feet. So take my middle wire. Bend that down on both sides. And I'm going to use my flat nose pliers, which the tips are about three millimeters. I think that would be a good size.
Next, I'm going to take the tips of my chain nose pliers, bring that wire right up in the middle again. Use my flat nose pliers again. Try to get a nice shape to it. Have the wire come up, and then you got to curve it with the others again. Do the same with the other side, try to get them equal. Get that middle wire flush with everybody else and kind of shape them the same way. Alright, so here's the bottom. Got that all done. If these feet are too big, you can definitely make yours smaller. Alright, just try to shape your wires. Try to get that the correct size for your stone. bit tighter. And do the same thing with the other side. Sometimes I have problems with swirls. I don't know why. Depends on what direction I'm going, I guess. So I'll go with that. Get this guy going where it needs to go. Since I have a feeling I'm going to need some bottom support, I'm going to bring these guys in, just turn them in a little bit. That's the back. Next we gotta get all our wires lined up so we can bind them together. So I'm just making sure everybody's lined up. I'm going to grab some more 16 gauge half round. I'm going to bind all my wires here and then I'm going to just wrap the bale. back ones back, bring the front ones in front. And then wrap the bale. I don't want too long so I think I'll just do an inch. If you're twisting it around, make sure everybody stays straight. And your wires.
tires don't twist on you. I'm going to cut that flush. And then make my bail. Shape it. I'm going to bring these through the front. Got a little space there. Straighten everybody out and bring these right to the back so I can make sure everybody's tight. back forward. I just want to see what I can do. So we still got to make some steam. I still need to make the little lip of the cauldron. So I'm going to see what I can do with this 14 gauge half round. I cut myself a nice long piece. See what I can do here. So I'm going to kind of curve that down, make it look like the lip of a pot. I'm going to kind of lock it down by wrapping it around the back wire. Tease that around gently. I kind of want it to stick out a little bit. Like that, that'd be cool. Do the same thing with this side. Gently pull. Until we have a little bit of a lip. Oops, I went under. This side I went upward and this side I went downward. That's all right. Make sure our lips are about equal. Cut them and wrap them around a little bit. to see how some bead bubbles work or look.
I'm just going to try taking some various beads to see if they look like bubbles. And these are the sizes I can use on 18 gauge. Don't mind me, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna attach it somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Just bear with me. Bring that guy around and through and anchor it somewhere wherever it will go, I'm going to anchor it. Alright, well those look like some bubbles, I think. Next I want to make some steam. I definitely want to hide my bale. So I'm going to take these front two. And do some sort of swirl pattern with the two of them together. Making a shape with them. swirl in this guy. Gonna attach these guys to the bale. This one wraps around the other way. Bubbles and steam going. I want to disguise this area a little bit. This guy through the bail gently. Snip that and anchor it. Alright, one left. Swirl it up and bring it down. Swing this one back. 
I don't want it to look too crazy. It reaches all the way to the other side, so I'm going to anchor it over here. Definitely needs some buffing and oxidizing, but I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so this is how my little cauldron turned out. I think it turned out super cute. I really like how it looks with the beads and stuff, just in time for Halloween. So I think it's adorable. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I come out with a new video. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.